Hello, I'm Lena Wynn, and here's your CBS On The Go update. We begin with your CBS2 travel forecast. Here's meteorologist Amber Lee. Hi, Lena. We're still looking at wet weather moving into the eastern seaboard. We could even see snow going into the northeast as we head into the next couple of days. Uh, also cold weather moving back into the Great Lakes region, but here in Southern California, things remain toasty and above average. We even have a red flag warning. Double check with your airlines. We do have some delays if you're heading into Dallas or Phoenix. But again, here in Southern California, we're looking at more of the summer like conditions. A red flag warning with a wind advisory for portions of LA and Ventura County. Temperatures will remain in the 70s and 80s, 10 to 15 degrees above average. Then as we head into Friday and into the weekend, a big cool down on the way as another low pressure system slides into the area. It's still unclear whether or not this low pressure system will bring us any moisture at all. But for now, we're looking at temperatures staying above average for at least the next 48 hours. All right, Amber, thank you. Uh, we knew traffic was bad in L.A. and now we know it's the worst for the sixth year in a row. Chris Martinez has more on how the gridlock is taking a toll and costing us all a lot of money. Los Angeles driver Alex Beltran is fueling up ahead of another slow commute. It's frustrating in the mornings. I mean, there's never a good time to really go out. Sometimes you don't even really want to go out because there's so many cars out. A new global traffic scorecard shows for the sixth straight year, Los Angeles is the world's most gridlocked city, with drivers spending an average of 102 hours stuck in traffic. Why is LA so bad with traffic? We have beautiful weather, we have nice scenery, we have lots of recreational activities, so we have a lot of people moving here to Southern California. But with more people come more cars and trucks. All that congestion comes at a cost for LA drivers, more than $2,800 a year in time wasted, extra gas, and higher prices businesses pass on when their fleets are stuck in traffic. Other U.S. cities don't fare much better. New York tied with Moscow for the number two spot on the list. New York also boasts the worst U.S. traffic corridor, the Cross Bronx Expressway, where the average driver wastes 118 hours a year. And San Francisco, Atlanta, and Miami all ranked in the top 10 of the world's most gridlocked cities. What we encourage people to do is make sure that they prepare for traffic and they manage it. For Andrea Prash, who commutes to L.A., that means budgeting an hour each way. I like to listen to music and just kind of zone out when I'm in traffic, so I guess I've just gotten used to it. Several cities in Texas, including Dallas, Austin, and El Paso, have shown traffic improvements, and South Bend, Indiana, was the country's most improved. Chris Martinez, Los Angeles. And now here's your CBS on the go sports. New England Patriots star Rob Gronkowski is having a really bad week. On Sunday, his team lost to the Super in the Super Bowl, and yesterday his house was burglarized. Police responded to a burglary call around 6 o'clock last night at Gronk's home in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Police say it happened while he was out of town to play in the Super Bowl. The home does have surveillance cameras, and police are reviewing footage. Immediately following CBS 2 News at 11 tonight, watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Guests include Wanda Sykes, Thomas Hayden Church, and actress June Diane Rayfill. And then right after Colbert, watch The Late Late Show with James Corden. His guests are Willem Dafoe and Michelle Monaghan. You can watch Corden and Colbert right after CBS 2 News at 11. And that's your CBS On The Go update. Remember, we're always on at CBSLA.com. And join us every night for CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11.